Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to Downloadable Content. Today we're jumping into a little game called Battle Talent because I need to show you the amazing mods in this game. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you amazing combat. Now, it's time to take a look at some amazing mods. So without further, are you getting closer to me? Don't get closer to me, all right? But let, all right, let, let's just start the video. So here we are in a beautiful map, and this is a mod, of course, but we're not going to focus on this one. I just want you to know that there are tons of maps to play on, which is absolutely glorious. And pretty much every mod I'm going to be showing you today is compatible with not only the Quest, but also with the PC. Isn't that awesome? Let's start things off big with Cursed Technique. Now this mod is pretty interesting. You're going to hear a lot of anime happening in the next couple of moments. So just sit back, relax, and let the anime happen. Hold the trigger. Look at that. Look at me cast this. <laughs> that took a while. It went through the thing. I wonder what happens if we hit some NPCs with it. We must try on goblins. There we go. I've spotted a bunch of these little goblins right here. So don't go anywhere. I really need to see what happens on you guys. So we aim and then we anime it up. Oh yeah. One more. Fuse it all together. And then hollow purple attack. Oh my lord above. Is that part of him? All right. Well, <laughs> that that's amazing. That so far it's going to be tough to beat that one. But I said let's start off strong and we started off strong. Next, let's take a look at death impact. Now this one is uh, pretty straightforward. You put the little mod crystal in here and then you hold down trigger and your guy has a, a glowing like punch. You know, it's, I'm about to become one punch man is what I'm about to tell you. Let's get this type of goblin, an elf goblin. All right, don't move anywhere. Super anime punch. Okay, yeah, well, that's obviously death impact. Let's try this on like one of these crazy looking ones. They are very, very cool looking and I'm gonna go ahead and death impact them in slow motion so we get the glorious punch. Are you death impacted? <laughs> it doesn't look as cool on him. All right, fine, let's try it on the Dark Lord. Dark Lord, don't go anywhere. Death impact. Are you death impacted? So it does one shot them and if they don't have any like dismemberment things, they just fade away. That one's pretty cool if you're looking for a nice easy one punch. Ooh, let, let me show you the anti-gravity spell. This one is kind of uh, vicious. Let's spawn a bunch of these regular small goblins for me to fight. So I have the gravity in this hand and I'm gonna jump forever and then I'm gonna cast it once with trigger up in the sky like this. hey -ya! It's very loud. Um. Oh, it's a little out of range for them. That's unfortunate. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll make one for you. This is it. Jump right here. <laughs> it, hey, you're supposed to get pulled into that. Come on, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Get Go into the hole. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> are you okay, bud? Did you... Are you... <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I, I need to I need to do that like eight more times. Cast it over here. Come here. I need to just into there. <laughs> There's something satisfied about throwing these little goblins into the black hole. You don't go anywhere. Black hole. Oh god, it faded. Are you okay? Let me show you a few like Warhammer guns that I found. I have the galvanic rifle, the gauze flare, and then this phosphor one. So let's spawn those each. We're gonna start with the galvanic right here. So it depends on where you hold it. Uh, if you hold it kind of like here, it's it's a little wonky to aim. Um, just keep that in mind. It seems very stiff, but when you're actually firing it, oh, is it satisfying. We're gonna spawn a couple of these little elf ones to fight. And oh my goodness, trust me, you guys are about to have a great time with this thing because we just aim and then, no, don't block it, but <laughs> put your arms down. Try and get it right through the forehead. Oh, there we go. See, he got galvanized. Anyone else wanna get galvanized? Can I shoot it through your forehead into your friend's forehead like this? I missed. Not gonna miss this time. Oh, he got galvanized. <laughs> what about you, bud? You wanna get galvanized? See, of course, you know, still, Counts as a melee weapon too. Get, get over here, galvanize. <laughs> I I just the way they look is just so funny. In the knee, it's, did you see him try to block it? He just puts his sword up. Oh my lord! And because this is battle talent, I mean, just look at how amazing all this context is. It's just so great, so fantastic, right, bud? I love this one. I just hope the mod author actually updates this just a little bit to make it a little bit more manageable because it's really hard to hold. I mean, maybe this right here is the best spot to hold. 
but it still doesn't feel 100% good while you hold it. Now there's the Phosphorus Serpenta. So the reason why I love this one is because of, well, that. You see how it just like gets right onto them and continues to burn their, their fleshy form? Even you. Did you just freeze me? Oh, we have a mini boss here. Hang on, let me uh, deal with your little mage friends. And then keep taking shots. Okay, how many shots can you take? Can you stop freezing me? I'm trying to show them something. Fine, jump slow-mo. <laughs> oh my lord. This one's not gonna be able to take that many more shots, I promise. Wow, you are, uh, you're, you're good at, oh my god, you are so good at this game. Hang on, hang on. I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, so that's the Serpenta. But now, I get to show you my favorite one. The Necron Gauze Flare. Oh my goodness, it handles so well. It is so cool looking. You have different grip points like so, and you just go, and it fires this little gauze blaster. And when the gauze blaster hits, well, things not made out of gauze, well, you see how some of his non-gauzy parts just fell off of him? You know, let's cheat and upgrade this gun a little bit more. So I've gone on and upgraded this gun now so we could do some uh, crazy stuff with it. So now, if one of the goobers gets hit, they're gonna be instantly goobered. Now, what I love about this one, oh, get away from me, is obliterating them. Did you see that? Oh man, that was a piece of his limbic system. Don't move. Oh my god. Oh man, you guys are made out of gauze. Let's find things that are not made out of gauze. Here we have a bunch of skeletons, so... Whoa, he's done. <laughs> Blew off his armor. They can at least, you know, tank like a few shots before it finds <laughs> their soul. And as for you, it's slow motion. Don't move anywhere. Okay, he moved. That's not my fault. I'm not bad at this game. He's... Do you have a cool sword? What is that on your back? What, what, do, you, hey, what do you have? Stop! I want to see that. What is that? I guess the world may never know. I don't want to get carried away. You guys absolutely need to use this one. But let me show you some more stuff. I'm going to show you the spear gun. So this just looks like a spear, right? Well, look closer. It has a little gun part. Did you, did you expect that? So you just do the trigger and you go... Trust me, it's worth it. Let's fight this little uh, basic guy right here. Um, we're going to use the spear part first. And then when he least expects it, we're going to hit him with the gun part. Yeah. Right, bud? Oh, oh. Come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if I if I stick you with the spear? It's almost, yeah, it's over, and then... <laughs> See? Devastating. Extremely devastating. And if you get lucky enough to just get him right on the tip of there while you raise him up, you should be able to, like, shoot him into the sky, too. So let's let's try that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's try it with the little guy. Hey, little buddy. You're gonna help us with a, a science experiment today, okay? <laughs> Stop it! Okay, I said stop. Oh, you rolled away. There's no rolling. There's no rolling. Just just like this, ready? In slow motion, stab, then lift him up. Nice and easy. Slow motion again, and pull back, and then fire! Oh, I love this one. And don't forget, you could just stick it, leave it in them, and when you come back and you're like, hey, I, I want to pick this up again, you can pick it up and still shoot it. It's amazing. So amazing. And it still works as a spear, so don't forget that. Let me show you a ridiculous one like this Pepsi gun. This Pepsi gun is, it, it's, it's hilarious. That's all I can say. You shoot it and it fires a can of Pepsi, but when it hits things, it, it starts to spray the Pepsi can all over the place, which is, that's a good time. Even when you're fighting an enemy, what are you gonna do? Pepsi gun, <laughs> take the Pepsi challenge. Don't go anywhere. Take this Pepsi challenge. I'm gonna see how many cans of Pepsi it takes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, battle talent. You never cease to amaze me. Imagine this is how you like, you meet your mortal end is by Pepsi gun. I have to see this on a skeleton. Okay, skeleton. What's it going to be? Are you going to get, oh, pepsi <laughs> It knocked his jaw off. I'm going to keep knocking body parts off of him. How about your arm? Can your arm come off with the Pepsi gun? Leg? Can your leg come off? Don't do this. Jumping anime spin hook! Oh my god. Yeah, so that was fantastic. You absolutely can destroy things with the Pepsi gun. It may be a joke, but this joke is getting more and more serious. Speaking of jokes, we have the Nerf dart gun, and this does nothing other than look cool and sound funny. It fires Nerf darts that literally 
don't do any damage. I'll prove it to you. I spawned a little guy for demonstration purposes only, and we're gonna hit him with a dart. Did you- are you okay? I still see some, like, goblin goo coming out of you when I'm hitting you with this one, but I don't think this actually does damage. Let's get up close and personal. Here, open- open your mouth. Open it. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't do damage. It would be cool if it stuck to things, like, if you can make that happen. Like, if it would, like, and stick to him. Or stick to the thing I shoot it at. That would be funny, but... You wanna know what? I think I just realized how to make this thing do damage. You bash him with it! Yeah, there we go. It still works. Next up is something I've been waiting to show you, which is the Pokeball. Look at this guy. He's he's really scrappy, right? He has, um, uh, he's a, a, go a goblin sword or whatever. I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Who cares about the joke right now? What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick him up, drop him to the ground. Pokeball, go! <laughs> yeah, and we've captured his soul. So now, when another one wants to fight us, we could say, Goblin Sword, I choose you, and hold the trigger and release it. Pew! There we go. Now I have a little buddy to fight. And whoever wins this fight, I will recapture. See, I love the combat in this. It's so cool. Like, the enemies will square up and literally fight each other. But do you need some encouragement? Go. Go get him. He called you dumb. Remember? Why can't you guys go past each other? You need help? Yeah, let's put you here. I'll grab you. They don't want to fight each other. They're cousins. Stand up and fight each other. I don't care. <laughs> Please. I need to see Goblin Bloodshed. Oh, my Lord. Finish him. Yeah. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Congratulations, Goblin friend. No. No, 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 no. You go to the next round. Sir, I know you look scary, but you're not fighting me. You're fighting Goblin Sore. Get him. He can shoot fireballs also, he's he's amazing. But I don't, I've never captured one of them before. In order to capture something with the Pokeball, it has to be knocked on the ground. They can't be stood up. Like him, if I was just like, Pokeball go! Like he's just like, who threw that? So we need to make sure that they hit the ground. So, hey, I will help my own Pokemon. They can't be dead either. Ugh. Yes, Pokeball go! Uh-oh. Uh, don't tell Osha about this. Well, you guys have seen Pokeballs, so. You know, capture them at your own risk. Now I'm going to show you a weird one called Raygan. Does anyone know what anime this is from? I do. It's back in the 90s. I'll tell you right now. It's from Yu Yu Hakusho. Boom. Or Yu Yu Hakusho. I, whatever. Yell at me in the comments. I don't care. Now this one looks cool, but unfortunately is pretty weak. But I'm showing you it because, I don't know, I think it looks cool. And we're going to shoot a goblin in the face with it. Specifically, this goblin. Don't go anywhere, bud. I charge up all the power and then BOOM! See, he lives. I wish, like, it would obliterate them. I I want the longer you charge it up, the more power you get. Like, I'm just holding it. Hold. 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 Fire! See? <laughs> it's not it's not really that strong. This is like a level one basic goblin, so it's not going to do much. But, you know, it looks cool. I just want it to be more powerful. Now I'm gonna show you the rock spell. This is really cool to use. You actually just hold and wherever you're gonna cast, you just let go and a rock will form. I have it in equipped in both hands and trust me, it's so good. You can cast it underneath them and then surprise, idiot. I can be the ultimate earthbender. Oh, that combo. Get ready. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Combos. Rock, rock. Oh my god, he hit his teeth on that! He's holding his mouth! I'm sorry, not. You could do some amazing stuff with this. Now, this is obviously all, all, all it does, but when I mean all it does, it makes a stalagmite or slag tight from the ground. <laughs> it is fun. Uh, you will thoroughly enjoy this using this one. Become the ultimate earthbender. Up next is stopping time. So we found ourselves surrounded by some goblins. That's okay. I'm gonna hold down the trigger while it's equipped and it completely stops time. Look at that. The time is now stopped, which means we can do some time stopping things like with this dagger. I can well stop time into your face hole. Hey, 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 there you go. So he stabbed. It's a little weird while it's stopped time. It's, you know, not like as expected, but we can leave this here. I could take out a bow of summoning. Fire an arrow into your face and just wait. We're going to fire a, a bunch of arrows here all around. <laughs> and this man is going to get hit. And when he awaketh from the time stopping, he will be hit by all of these arrows. So here's how you awake time. Same way you did it. You hold down the trigger and then arrows go. 
They all despawned, didn't they? Well, <laughs> I guess it's more for just, ow, oh, stopping time and having fun like this. We're gonna have some fun with your face. So stop time at your own risk. Moving on is one of my favorite ones and it is uh, the Spell Wave, also known as the Kamehameha. Just grab one of them and go ahead and equip it in your little jewel spot right there. And then you're gonna hold down the trigger, but don't do two. If you do two at a time, one in each hand, you'll, you'll blow yourself up. So what you do is you cast it and you put your hands together like so, and you raise them out a little bit, just enough. See, see what I'm doing with my hands? Forward, back, forward, back. If you go too far, it fires and goes that way. So you want to go, ka, me, ha, me, ha! <laughs> so just keep that in mind. You can be fancy. If you don't want to be fancy, you just go like that, and it'll shoot basically straight. It's also not that powerful, but let's try it out. Okay, guy, don't move. This is going to be very challenging for me to use this one. hey -ya! Oh, I hit him. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a little bit more powerful than I thought. Let's try it on one that doesn't move. All right, friend, this is gonna hit you right in the sternum, but it's okay, since you're a goblin. The more we charge it up, the better it becomes. Oh, I hit myself with that. See, sometimes it's not like amazing. hi -ya! Oh, but that time it was. That time, it definitely was. So get the spell wave. One of my absolute all-time favorite spells, even though it's a little underpowered. You know, I think the last one I'm gonna show you is actually this Master Sword. Look at it, it's the Master Sword. It's a little oversized. It's kind of ripped um, right from Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, but it, it, it glows. Isn't that cool that it glows? It's primarily just a sword. I was kind of hoping that it would have like more magical abilities in this one, but it's, oh wait, it does. I stand corrected. Haha, I have the Wave Slash. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Let's try it out in combat. The Blade of Evil's Bane Slash. We're gonna hold triggers together and you know, he got knocked unconscious at the very least. Oh wow, the blade wave does actually do some decent damage. And for you, I need to know how much this normal sword does. So block, I have to kill you Wind Waker style. Don't move, okay, turn to stone. Oh, I missed. Uh, come on, man, don't do that. I need to turn you to stone. Yeah! Oh no, fine, if I'm not gonna be able to turn you to stone, I'm gonna turn you into uh, death. Don't move! Don't block this either! <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for the Master Sword, just find this goblin's like uh, decomposing flesh form, and then you can get yourself your own Master Sword. And lastly, if you're looking to install mods, all you have to do is this. Tap the wrist, go to the Mod I.O. section, and this little menu pops up. You have tons of filters, you have new mods that you can scroll through. All you have to do is click on subscribe, and the mod is yours to download. So go ahead, what are you waiting for? Well, my friends, those were some of the mods for Battle Talent. I hope you had a ton of fun, and don't forget, go download this game. It's available on Quest and PC. You're not going to regret it. And you, I see that you are new to downloadable content. You might as well subscribe. It's free. Click the big red subscribe button down below, and also the thumbs up button right next to it. It really helps me out. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content. You're about to get punched, and I will see you next time. Thank you.